Hello everyone, my name is Miss Babbage and I'm a music teacher from Tennessee. My friends at the Music Museum asked me to teach you about an instrument that I use all the time in my own music classroom, and that is the xylophone. What is a xylophone, you ask? A xylophone is a percussion instrument made up of a set of wooden bars that are laid across a frame. The frame can be in a bunch of different sizes, and it depends on what kind of xylophone you want to tell you what size the frame will be. So if you want an alto xylophone, you have a slightly bigger frame. If you want a soprano xylophone, you have a smaller frame. Or if you're planning to travel with your xylophone, you have an even smaller frame. How do you play a xylophone? Great question. You need a special stick to play on the xylophone. This special stick is called a mallet. Mallets look like this and are held by grabbing with your pointer finger and your thumb squeezing the stick and wrapping your fingers around. Whenever you play on a xylophone, you hit the wooden bars and let the mallet bounce back up. Just like that. Mallets can have a lot of different tops to them. This mallet has a yarn ball on the top. This mallet has wood. This one has hard plastic. And this one has hard rubber and it changes the way the xylophone sounds depending on what kind of mallet you use. So this is what a hard rubber mallet sounds like. Here is a hard plastic mallet. Here is a wooden mallet. And finally, our yard mallet. The wooden bars on the xylophone have a very special shape. If it's a large bar, it can be about this size, and it has a flat top, probably has the letter name on the bar, and on the bottom it has a curved part. The curved part on the bottom of the bar tells the bar what sound to make. So this is a C bar, and so it will have this shape on the bottom. If I have a smaller bar, like this little bitty A bar right here, it's flat on top still, but it has a smaller curve cut out on the bottom. Xylophone bars can be made out of a lot of different things. One of my favorite things to teach my students is how some of the oldest xylophones used to be made out of animal bones. And that always gets them. They think it's so cool that xylophones came from that to where they are today. The history of the xylophone is really cool too. It is said that it was originated all the way in Southeast Asia, but it also has history coming from Africa. The xylophone is actually one of the oldest instruments in the world. This instrument is a lot of fun, not only to play by yourself, but to play with friends. As long as you have mallets for everybody, anybody can play this instrument. You can bring a bunch of xylophones together, or you can use two mallets and play by yourself. This instrument is great in the classroom, at home, and even in large orchestras. You can see xylophones of all shapes and sizes. One of my favorite things about being a music teacher is that I get to share instruments like this with my students. I get to share the history behind them, the songs from all over the world that we can play on them, and the instruments themselves. My students love the xylophone. If you'd like, go check out other music museum videos to learn about really cool instruments from all over the world. And I'm so glad you stopped by today.